Yes, sir. I want to go ahead and make this announcement. The seats under the tent are for the family and family members only, please. Let's allow the families of these fallen to have seats. Yes, sir, must come down. Where in the uh, program are they going to undo this at the end? Or, uh, uh, we've the got photographer was asking. Yeah, them. we've got the Marine Corps Navy flag being represented, okay. We've got uh, uh, the wreath. Then we've got uh, wreath, the ladies and ladies and gentlemen seated up at the entrance away. Okay, so is this a memorial here too, right? Yeah. That's a parachute. Yep, yeah, that's where all okay. the names are. Odd parachute, and then the parachute moved. The guests will have a moment to see the memorial marker. So that's the marker there, isn't it? Yes, sir. If that's Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the rising of the national anthem and organizational flags of the national pension and organizational flags and remain standing for the laying of the memorial wreaths and the plan of path. So I don't see where that is in here. I wonder where Colonel Quick is. I'm yeah. going grab some. I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. see it. Okay, I don't see it in here. Take off too. Just like everything else, I can't get it all in writing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Another family announcement. Yes. And then uh, we'll probably get rolling here in a okay. couple of minutes. If I could, family members, would you please make your way? Let's go ahead and uh, we'll be seated. We're going to start in approximately five minutes. So if I could, I get the family members to come on in and let's go ahead and take your seats. This is loud as this might get. Y'all here? Okay. Okay. Uh,
Come on, you ready? Okay. No. Okay. Okay. Yes, Tell me if you are going to say something about the records. Yes, sir, I got it right here. It okay. says uh, the Marine Raider Memorial March is a 900-mile journey okay. uh, beginning here in Itabena, Mississippi, and ending on in Camp Lejeune. I'm going to pretty much read this script. Okay. Yes, and, uh, about the date. Yeah, about if, they join in. anybody want to yeah. join? The biggest thing is it's just plus 20 minutes. Because I know right now that... Okay. Okay. Two minutes. Okay, everybody take your post. A reminder, please go ahead and silence your cell phones. And I could get everybody to silence your cell phones. The music for today's ceremony is provided by the Marine Forces Reserve Band under the direction of Chief Warrant Officer 2, Demarius Jackson. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning again. Welcome to Yankee 72 Memorial Unveiling Ceremony. Please welcome the 18th Sergeant Major of the United States Marine Corps, Sergeant Major Ronald L. Green. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I know it's hot out here and I'm not gonna be long. I didn't come with any speech, anything written down, just a heartfelt condolence for the family members, our Gold Star families, friends of our warriors who perished in the Delta. I'm a fellow Mississippian. I know the heat. The Commandant and I flew here a year ago when they were searching in the field for our loved ones, and we brought them all home. I just want to tell you, so our Gold Star families, condolences to every one of you. And know that once a Marine, once a sailor serving with a Marine, you'll never be forgotten. You'll always be a part of our family. Know that, please. To all the distinguished guests, visitors, Marines, sailors, soldiers, airmen, Coast Guardsmen, National Guardsmen, fellow Mississippians, thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for reminding America that freedom is not free. When I heard the call, when I got the message that the aircraft had gone down, and I heard it was in the Delta of Mississippi. Any loss touches every one of us. But to realize a loss here in my home state, there was no doubt, Mississippi, that we were going to show America what right looks like. And that's exactly what you've done. I'm a proud fellow Mississippian. I'm a proud fellow Mississippian to all our first responders, volunteers, Family members, every one of you the Marine Corps thanks you. From the Commandant of the Marine Corps, he thanks you. I thank you. 
I represent nothing but the people, the warriors and the family members of all Marines. Let me remind all of us that we, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice and ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish our constitution for the people, of the people, by the people. Freedom is not free. Freedom is not free. And you don't have to, you don't have to be in a uniform to serve. All you got to do is do right by our constitution and by our flag and by those who've gone before us. Our sixth president, John Quincy Adams, our sixth president, John Quincy Adams, once said that the posterity, which means the future generations, will not know the price that was paid by those who came before them. But it's memorial sites like this, and the one I stood in on Memorial Day at Bella Wood, where we fought 100 years ago, that will remind us in the jungles of Guadalcanal, in the Delta of Mississippi, off the coast of Florida, and everywhere else we perish. I sit in the office. At